Uh, I did see some remarks uh, which were made, but I think it's a question of, you know, uh, communicating and uh, convincing and, uh, you know, uh, getting people to understand that this is actually for everybody's uh, benefit. I don't think people should take a narrow view of it, and they have not done so in the past. Uh, so if you, if you look at even U.S.'s own attitude to Chabahar in the past, the U.S. Uh, has been uh, appreciative of the fact that Chabahar has a larger relevance. So, uh, you know, uh, we will, we will uh, work at it. had uh, a long uh, association with the Chabahar port, but this was, we, we could never sign a long-term agreement. And the reason was, they kept, there were various problems in the Iranian end, you know, who was our partner, JV, it's a JV. Huh? So, you know, joint venture, the partner changed, conditions changed. So, finally, we were able to sort uh, this out, and we were able to uh, actually uh, get the long-term agreement done, and the long-term agreement is necessary because without it, you cannot really uh, uh, improve the port operations, and the port operations, we believe, will benefit the entire region. So uh, we're aware of these reports that uh, Iran and India have signed a deal concerning uh, the Chabahar port. Uh, anyone considering business uh, deals with Iran, um, they need to be aware of the potential risk that they are opening themselves up to and the potential risk of sanctions. Mm -hmm.